Today I'm going to show you how to use the Kami integration tool by assigning um, an assignment where students will be able to use Kami to annotate and mark up a document that you've pushed out to them. Um, so to begin with, I'm currently in my module view and I'm going to go to my week two module and this is my destination for this new assignment that I'd like to add. Um, as a reminder to add an assignment, I'm going to go to the plus button to add to this module. I'll be selecting an assignment and then I need a new assignment. This particular assignment for my students is called Where's Waldo? And I'm going to click to add the item and now it will populate within my module. To make it consistent, I'm also going to increase the indentation to bump it over in line with the other materials that I have in my module. Because it's been added, it's now an active hyperlink, so I can click into my new assignment to edit the properties and to um, change it to a Kami integration. Right now, all the properties are blank, so again, I'm going to go up to the top right corner where the Edit Pencil button is. And now I have space to edit the assignment so that students have directions and instructions on what I'd like them to do. Um, this is our editable region and we have our rich content editor toolbar available to help us add in various content. I cheated a little bit and I already actually typed out my information and so I'm copying and pasting it in. So I've added a, a header image and I've added in my learning target as well as directions for my students. Um, I kind of outlined what I expect them to do in Kami because they'll be able to see these instructions right above their Kami assignment because it's Kami is going to be embedded within Canvas now. So you can see that I'll be having them add text. Um, they'll be using the drawing tool and they'll also be using the shape tool to add in and draw in a shape before they click the submit button. The great thing about the integration is that students won't have to leave Canvas at all to complete this assignment. And then as soon as they've, they're finished, they'll be able to click a submit button and you'll have access to it through SpeedGrader. You'll need to assign a point value for your assignment, determine which category. This will be a formative assessment for my class. And now in the submission type, this is where we're going to select Kami. It's very similar to creating a Google Cloud assignment in which we're going to be using an external tool. And now we need to find which one we would like to use. Select Kami Google Drive assignment, and this will sync with my Google Drive. I think with the Kami integration tool, it's sometimes hard to see my entire drive. So I like to go down to the bottom corner where there is a gray triangle and if you hover over it, you get a double sided arrow. So I just click on this to drag and make this window a little bit larger. Now I can see all of my folders uh, in my drive and I'm going to go into my forensics class to pull the exact um, document that I want my students to annotate using Kami. So I've selected the file. It's going to pull it in and ask me to confirm that I do want to use Kami for this submission. So yes, click select and go ahead and scroll down. The last thing I need to do is to select my due date for students. And then we can click save. Once it loads, you'll see all of the assignment information that you typed in to give your students direction. And if you scroll down, the new part is now the Kami integration. So there is an embedded window that shows Kami's screen. And here is our Kami document. So it's totally embedded for students. Um, you can scroll down, you can see this is a classic Where's Waldo image. Um, Kami actually doesn't work with images, but an easy workaround is to print your image as a PDF file and then pull in that image as a PDF. So over here, students will have access to all of these different markup tools. They can do it directly inside. And on the student end, they will have a submit button at the top in blue so that you can view all of their work. 
There's no clicking out of Canvas. Um, they don't have to go to Cami's website and they don't have to open any document from their drive using Cami. Um, that's the beauty of the Cami integration tool.